shall be my star flashing near or smoldering far. I am happy when I bask in your light. All I ask is that you may bask. All I ask. You wake up in a new reality and it's learning how to live and be in that new reality. And you need people to come alongside you and help you understand your new reality. That to me is what grief is, living through grief and living with grief. Before I die, I would like to write another book. I think I was a very happy, confident minx. <laughs> and even when she passed away, it was very much an inner peace for all of us. As a family, as a person, you don't know how people are going to react to talking about your child that's died. And when somebody else brings her name up, it makes it easy to talk about. Before I die, I want to have no regrets. When Leah was 14, I uh, took her to Lapland, possibly the, the, one of the best days I've ever spent with Leah. I just wish I'd been able to take her again. The sooner you can get it in your head to talk about death, and the sooner you can bring it out into the open and stop being frightened of death, the sooner you start to live more, you soon, soon you start to live with death a bit better. Before I die, I want to make as many people happy as possible. We really miss it, we really miss the noise in the house because there's a lot of times it was like, you can't hear the telly, shush, and I wish I had that noise back now. A few people have been asking me, how many children have you got? Because I've just started a new job and I've said, I've got two, but I had three. And they were like, oh, and I just say to them, because I think, well, okay, it's part of my life, I'm not going to, kid only wasn't there, I'm going to tell you he was there. So, but it's, it's, I think society has to change its attitude. Because the word death or child death and they're off, they're, oh no, we can't talk about that. Before I die, I would like to have travelled and lived. She was very loyal, very kind to her friends, always considered other people uh, more than herself. You know, even when she was ill, she wasn't thinking about herself, she was always thinking about other people, the other kids that were ill, and when she knew that there was no hopes, she still just was very strong right until the end. When you lose a child, I don't think you ever come to terms with losing a child. You learn to live a life that is different but you never stop missing that child. Before I die, I want to be a size 10. The person that I'm talking about and thinking about is um, my stepdaughter. No, I can't. There were other people as well um, who didn't understand my pain because they didn't see me being someone as close as others around. And it was almost as, as if there was some sort of hierarchy sh who should grieve more than the others. Um, and that was just so not the case. It was just a deep pain and I think for anyone in that situation my heart goes out because it's just the pain that, that comes across an individual and it's different for everyone but no less awful for everyone going through that.